Hi, it's Marty Manning. I'm at UMOM New Day Centers, and we're getting ready for the Walk for Homeless Families coming up on Saturday the 29th. We want to have you there. Karen Fletcher is with me. First of all, let's remind people about the walk, uh, what, where, and when. Okay. This year we're doing the walk. It's our fourth annual walk at the Phoenix Zoo. So registration starts at 630, and the walk will begin at 730. You'll get a free T-shirt. You'll have refreshments. You can bring your family, friends, anybody that wants to walk. You can do a 1K walk or run. You can do a 5K walk or run, and it also includes free admission to the zoo for the entire day when the zoo opens at 9 o'clock. So we encourage everyone to come. Okay, and how do we get registered? Go to our website, www.umom.org. There you go. So I certainly hope to see you all there. The Walk for Homeless Families, it's so important. And uh, Karen, let's tell people a little bit about you, Mom, about the the different uh, missions that you have here. Well, there's one mission, basically serving families in need, uh, but you have a lot of different ways to do that. Yes, we do. Uh, We're the largest shelter for homeless families in the state. And so our goal is to provide safe shelter, supportive services, and housing to get families into permanent housing just as quickly as possible. So we offer everything from emergency and transitional housing to permanent supportive housing. We also operate a domestic violence shelter. There's actually more need than there are family units right now, of course, in in the community. So we have a 24-hour hotline. Uh, We very quickly assess a person's needs and as quickly as possible find shelter here. And we partner with all of the other shelters in the community to find housing as quickly as possible for our homeless families. Well, let's talk a little bit about the facility here because this used to be a, a hotel, motel yes, along uh, about 34th and Van Buren. And uh, th- this amazing transformation has taken place. And what do we have here now? Yes, this was the old Days Inn and Super 8 hotels. So we now have 134 families that reside on this campus and can stay anywhere from a few months to up to two years. That's about 550 people and over 330 children. Wow. And then across the street... Yes. Uh, even more promise for the future. Absolutely. We tore down the old Sands Hotel and built Legacy Crossing Apartments. It's one of four communities in the Valley that offers uh, discounted or affordable uh, subsidized housing for families. Now there, that's a lot of reasons for you to get involved and for you to help and be there. The Walk for Homeless Families, it's Saturday the 29th at the Phoenix Zoo. And remember, you get to go to the zoo afterwards as well. Thank you so much, Thank Karen. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Please join us. We'll see you there.